Hello everyone, we are going over USAMO 2009 problem number 1. We are already done with the first case where O1, O2, O3, they form a degenerate uh, triangle and from there we were able to show that O3, the center of the, um, of the third circle, the circumcircle of uh, quadrilateral PQRS would lie on the line XY. Now what I have in mind is the second case where O1, O2 and O3 are collinear. In that case we again need to show like in the previous case that O3 in fact lies on the line XY. So for that I already have this configuration drawn. Uh, please convince yourself that that's the uh, configuration that we need to think about. So O1 and O2, you have line uh, from the center O1, you have the line uh, L1, which intersect the second, so, so the, let me write that down. So that's omega 1, that would be omega 2 here. And from the center of omega 1, we have a line which intersect the omega 2 at points P and Q. In a similar way, O2 is the center of omega 2, and from O2, we're drawing a line which would intersect the first circle, omega 1, at points R and S. So, therefore, this line here, PQ, is actually the line L1, and this line here, RS, uh, would be the line L2. In that case, L1 and L2 would intersect at infinity, and that's when uh, so that's the case would that we would be interested in investigating so that case where l1 and l2 intersect at infinity would be when uh, o1 o2 o3 would be ultimately collinear our claim so um where is o3 located so that red circle here which is the circumcircle of quadrilateral pqrs so the claim uh well due to symmetry we would like to show obviously that it's on XY, but due to symmetry, I, I'm pretty convinced that the this point O3 would be actually point O here. So all I need to show now is that the point O is the um is the center of that red circle, the circumcircle of quadrilateral PQRS. So for that, the best way to prove that would be to show that so or equivalently. All we need to show is that OP huh, is equal to OR, which is equal to OS, and which is equal to OQ. If I can show these, then I'm I'm pretty much done. So it shows that those points P, R, S, and Q are on the circle, and the center would be O. Therefore, the O would be actually the point O sub 3. So the best way to start is obviously, huh? so let's start with the distance OP here. So how can I calculate this distance? Obviously, I do have some right triangles here, right angles here, I should say. And this angle is a right angle, and obviously this angle is also a right angle. So from here, OP square, huh? applying Pythagorean theorem, I realize that OP square is simply equal to 001 squared plus 01P squared. But then, um, let's use some, uh, so 001 squared, I just keep it as it is. How about 01P squared? For that one, I will make use of an other right triangle here. So obviously, right triangle P0102, I can substitute for 01P squared, so therefore I will get 02P squared minus 0102 squared. So now uh, I can rearrange them, like at least organize them. So 001 squared plus, uh, notice that 02P is the radius of the second circle, omega 2, minus 0102 squared. Now I need to find an expression to substitute for that R2 here. And that expression I will find using this point X here. So measure of, of O2X. Uh, so let me draw it with a different color here. Notice that O2x, that distance, would also measure R2 here. So R2, this one measures R2, but this one also measures R2. So from here we just realize that um, O2x squared, O2, um, let me actually do it separately over here. 
um, um, let's let's do it here in this let me, I just created this little box here so o2 um, x square is equal to r2 squared huh? that expression that I need here but now notice by Pythagorean identity that o2 x is simply um, o x squared plus uh, o o o2 squared so it's o x squared plus o o2 squared now I can substitute this expression into uh, here so I have o o1 squared plus um, um, plus this expression here which is o x squared um, o x squared um, plus yeah o o2 squared and I still have this minus o1 o2 squared so let me squeeze that into here o1 o2 squared um, now I can go ahead and rewrite this expression so let me follow from here so this equality condition here so uh, notice that uh, o x is half of the distance x y so one half x y squared so that would be uh, o x this one this squared um, I still have o o one squared so let's just rewrite this o o one squared so this one's taken care of then I have o o two squared plus o o two squared minus o one o two squared now I want you to um, focus on this expression here notice that all these points are predetermined and they do not depend on the points p q r and s they are independent of the points p q r and s so I was able to find op squared or op in that for that particular case op in terms of those um, fundamental points o o1 o2 and points x y which are obviously um, given depend only on the radius of these omega 1 and omega 2 but in a similar way by symmetry i can also establish that this quantity is also equal to o q squared o r squared and o s squared it's not too difficult to start with similar triangles and then and so for instance a triangle like this one here for o r squared and then apply the steps that we followed in this proof to establish that o p is in fact equal to o q which is in fact equal to o r and that in turn is equal to o s and that shows that these quantities being equal shows that o is the center of the quadrilateral uh, cyclic quadrilateral pqrs therefore in fact o is equal to o3 so we we use this phantom point o to establish that o3 is that point the midpoint of segment xy uh, where x and y are the intersection points between circles omega 1 and omega 3 omega 2 that in fact uh, concludes uh, the, 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 the proof of this um, second case and that uh, completely, uh, completely solves this problem, USAMO problem, 2009 USAMO problem number one. Hope to see you in our next video.